Astronomers have been left baffled by the recent discovery of a mysterious radio signal emanating from somewhere near the center of our galaxy. The signal has been blinking on and off and it continues to grow 100 times brighter and dimmer over time. Then, without any explanation, the signal completely disappears for months at a time. This is truly unlike anything that astronomers have ever seen in space before. So, what exactly is the source of these strange new radio emissions? And could they really be evidence of some undiscovered astronomical phenomenon? Radio signals from outer space are nothing new. In the early 1930s, physicist and radio engineer Carl Jansky was hired by Bell Telephone Laboratories to figure out what was interfering with their transatlantic radio transmissions. What he accidentally discovered was a strong radio source coming from somewhere in outer space, in the direction of the constellation of Sagittarius. Jansky became the unwitting father of radio astronomy. Since his first monumental discovery nearly a century ago, astronomers have been scanning the sky in search for new sources of cosmic radio waves. In late November 1967, postgraduate student Jocelyn Bell Burnell and her team were conducting research using a newly built radio telescope at Cambridge University. As Burnell was poring over the data, she noticed a strange bit of scruff in the readings. After getting a closer look at the source, she was able to resolve a series of repeating radio pulses spaced exactly 1.33 seconds apart. Nobody had ever seen anything like it. No one on the team had any idea what the source of these radio pulses could possibly be. The idea was even thrown around that they have stumbled onto some sort of transmission from a distant alien civilization. They, mostly jokingly, named the mysterious signal LGM-1, short for Little Green Men. But the discovery of a second pulsating radio source on December 21, 1967 meant that the Little Green Men hypothesis was definitely not the answer. It wasn't aliens, but Burnell had still made a Nobel Prize winning discovery. In the 1968 publication of their work, the Cambridge team named the newly discovered object a pulsar from pulsating radio source. A pulsar is a special type of neuron star, which are incredibly dense objects formed during the violent, explosive deaths of massive stars. Radioactive particles emitted from the surface are channeled into two narrow streams by a neutron star's powerful magnetic field. These jets of charged particles emit huge amounts of electromagnetic radiation as they are accelerated up to nearly the speed of light. Most neutron stars also spin unbelievably fast on the order of only a few seconds or even milliseconds. If a neutron star's emission jets happen to be pointed in the direction of Earth, it is called a pulsar, much like the rotating beacon atop a lighthouse. Every time the pulsar completes a rotation, our telescopes will see a bright flash of radio waves. Since Jocelyn Burnell's first discovery, Astronomers have identified more than 2,000 pulsars across the universe. But in early 2020, a new cosmic radio signal was detected by a team of astronomers working out of the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder Telescope, or ASCAP. The source of the radio waves is located somewhere in the direction of the galactic centre. These radio waves exhibit a very strange circular polarisation this means that the electric field of the radio waves spins around as they travel through space. Circular polarization is not common for known celestial radio emitters. Only a handful out of thousands of radio sources has ever been found to be circularly polarized. Even more strange, after a few weeks of observation, the ASCAP radio source suddenly disappeared. The signal eventually showed up again after some time but then disappeared once more. Over the course of the next several months, the signal continued to switch itself off and on, seemingly at random. Dr. Tara Murphy is a professor of astrophysics at the University of Sydney and a co-author of the ASCAP study that made these findings. 
Dr. Murphy said that sometimes the signal seems to stay on, detectable for days or weeks at a time, and then other times it can come on and off in a single day, which is extremely fast for an astronomical object. At first, the astronomers wondered if the signal might be coming from a pulsar. Pulsars can produce polarized radio waves similar to what was observed at ASCAP. But additional observations using the Meerkat radio telescope in South Africa failed to reveal any rapid pulsation, which are characteristics of pulsars. Pulsars can also be identified by looking for X-ray or infrared light, but the source of this new radio signal is completely dark at those wavelengths. Another possibility that the team considered was that they were observing a sudden flare-up of a massive star. If that were the case, they should see a significant amount of light being emitted in the visible spectrum. But again, telescope surveys showed that the source was entirely invisible. So, they've managed to disprove the two most likely theories. The astronomers are left with nothing but a complete mystery. It's possible that the location of the source might offer a clue. There is a class of astronomical objects known as Galactic Center Radio Transients, or GCRTs. Astronomers don't actually know all that much about these GCRTs, other than they are located near the galactic nucleus and that their radio emissions vary widely over time. But every single GCRT is different. Some flash at regular intervals and some are completely random. Astronomers can't even be sure whether GCRTs are all caused by the same type of object or if they are the result of multiple unrelated astronomical phenomena. It could be that we've discovered one of these, so in a way that's exciting because there are very few of them known, says Dr. Murphy. But also frustrating because we don't actually know what galactic center radio transients actually are. The intermittent radio signal discovered at ASCAP could be a galactic center radio transient, but its observed behavior is still different enough that it might not be. None of the proposed theories entirely fit with the data that we have. In short, the true nature of this discovery is still unknown. It's possible that some future observations might be able to offer some more clues into the source of this mysterious radio signal. But observing objects near the galactic center is notoriously difficult. The core of the Milky Way is the densest part of the galaxy, and thick clouds of dust and gas obscure much of what is hiding there. Cosmic radio waves are also much harder to detect when compared to sources of X-rays or visible light, adding yet another challenge for astronomers. But the future looks promising. Both ASCAP and Meerkat are a part of the ongoing Square Kilometer Array project. The SCAR project aims to build the largest radio telescope in the world, comprised of thousands of radio antennae spread across Australia and South Africa. When it's finished, it will have, as the name suggests, a total light-collecting area of one square kilometer. The array will hopefully be complete sometime within the next decade and will have 50 times the sensitivity of any other currently existing radio instrument. With the completed square kilometer array, astronomers are hoping to be able to see further than ever before potentially to the very edge of the observable universe, to study what happened during the very early days after the Big Bang, when the first stars and galaxies were starting to form. But for now, the mystery of this new transient radio source discovered by the team at ASCAP remains unsolved. Is it the result of something we already know? Or is this the beginning of a new cosmological discovery? Thanks for watching. And while you are here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space. I'll see you there.